and may the bare necessities of life come to you. And this is our uh, the last day of the Benedetti sessions. My name is Richard Michael. I'm broadcasting to you from our home here in Kirkcaldy. A lovely summer, summer's day. And I just felt, what more can I play except the bare necessities? It's been a great thrill to be involved in this project. And for this last half hour that I'm involved with you, what I'm going to do is just get you going with some rhythm, some feel things, and uh, set you up for this wonderful concert that we're all going to have at four o'clock when the whole project comes together. So, what you're going to do is, remember, clap on or click on two and four. It is not cool to do this on one and three. So, one, two, with me, one, two, oh, one, two, three, four. Three. sound of the music of the Cayley. And the thing about Scottish music is it's so vibrant that you can't stand still to it. You've got to move, you've got to groove. Okay, so here's what we're going to try now. We're going to see if we can clap at Cayley speed. Okay, so if it's, but it just goes like the clappers. So it's foot clap, foot clap, foot clap, foot clap, foot clap, foot clap, foot clap. Okay, so you've got to keep up with me. Are you ready? This always starts with a loud chord. And this will be the chord of A major. Here it is. Ready? Foot clap, foot clap. One, two, one, two, three, and... It's not cool to clap on one and three. <laughs> okay, let's just do one other little clapping thing um, before we finish this and go on to play a tune. What I want you to do is just let's get a feeling of uh, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. You do that with me? Mm -hmm. 
Got it on? Now, as I was preparing for this last version of what we're going to do today, it occurred to me that the uh, if you take the name a certain name and put a rhythm to it, you get Nicola Benedetti, Nicola Benedetti, Nicola Benedetti. Say it with me, one. Nicola Benedetti, Nicola Benedetti. Now it just so happens that Nicola has got seven syllables in her two names, and that's unusual. But it's great for us practicing. So look, if we could put a melody to Nicola Benedetti, Nicola Benedetti, Nicola Benedetti, Nicola, you would get this. Nicola Benedetti. instruments at hand? If you've got your instrument at hand, see if you can pick this up. Here's the first three notes. It's very simple. D, E, G. And then we got a little flat note. B flat, G, A, G. And that gives you, put it together, Time's a little different. So we're going to go. Nicola Benedetti, Nicola Benedetti, Nicola Benedetti, yeah. Nicola Benedetti, Nicola Benedetti, Nicola Benedetti, yeah. Now, if you're finding it difficult to find that on your instrument, let's just play pretend. What to do is, when we improvise, uh, I improvise all the time, uh, although I can read music, uh, I, t I improvise. Uh, but before I, bef that absolute fraction, milliseconds before I play, I know what it's going to sound like, because all these guys are my friends. I know where they are, I know where they're set out, I know what it's going to sound like. You can do this with time, it happens to you all. What I want you to do is sing the tune, and finger it without your instrument. So, I mean, I play the flute, not very well, but on the flute it would be do 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 So sing it, sing it, and pretend you're fingering on your instrument, and then we'll try it. Let's slow it down, are you ready? So, as you figure out, the sun beats in the bar. One, two, three, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. playing uh, then one of you try harmonizing. Now harmonizing is great fun. Um, what you do is just have a go. Try and pitch an interval say like a third higher or a sixth lower and you get harmony. It's great fun. So instead of look at this Let's try a little 
fourth shade faster. sleep tonight. Um, don't think about that because it will probably keep you awake. But whatever your name is, whatever your name is, put it in rhythm so that you get this feeling of groove. I'd just like to tell you that some years ago I did a workshop for the ABRSM with, uh, with music teachers and I was asked how do you teach rhythm? How do you teach rhythm? So I, I did this. I said Rhythm, rhythm, it's easy, you know. I come from Scotland and my name is Richard. I live in Kikori, it's in Fife. I came down on the train today. Now tell me, mister, who are you? And this guy went, my name's Richard too. I'm from Leicester. And I thought, oh, oh, he doesn't get it. Rhythm, it's just, if you, to not play with a groove <clears throat> is, it's just not going to work. Practice, practice, practice. Play it with groove, play it with feel. Now, we're gonna have a little jam session and I'll tell you how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna teach you a really simple theme and then we're going to play some solos on it. So what all you need to know is what the notes are. Well, there's two of them. One is G and the other isn't, okay? Now I'll play the theme, and it's a very common theme that Duke Ellington used to summon his musicians to get them onto the stage. And it goes like this. It starts on G. I want you to find the other note. Are you ready? One, two, one, two, three, and... This tune uses <coughs> repetition. It's very repetitive and it's a 12 bar blues. What's a 12 bar blues? Some of you out there might not know. Okay, it's a chord sequence that lasts for 12 bars and then it repeats. At its simplest, it's chord one for four bars like this. blues runs all the way through the music of the last century and Duke Ellington and it, virtually every jazz composer I can think of at some point has written a 12 bar blues. The chords are not necessarily as simple as that. They can be broken up. Early, blue, early jazz it sounded like this. So there's the, there's the triad and I can break it up like this. feel but we're going to do this with a swing feel so well, what you've got to make absolutely certain of this when you play when you play that you don't do da 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 oh blah, blah, blah. no ba 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 and when you do the ba ba Make your eyebrow 
going to do what mine do. Watch, I'll do it the wrong way. Ba ba, no, the right way. Ba ba, ba ba. So you get a smile and you get a kick. Do ba. All right. So let's let's play it, sing it, whatever. You ready? A one, two, a one, two, three, and. start improvising on that and to improvise you need to know just a very very simple scale and the scale is G A C now we're going to call that area one G A C followed by C D E flat C D E flat by the way if you play a clarinet or a trumpet or a tenor sax that would be A B D D E F Okay, or if you play an E-flat instrument, that would be E, F-sharp, A, A, B, C. And I must say, it's been great working with strings. We don't have to transpose string players. You're very fortunate you don't have to do that. All right, so for four bars, you improvise just using G, A, C. Now for four bars, you improvise using C, D, E-flat. And then for another four bars, you join them up. Well, what could be simpler? Now, I'll give you an example. Okay, now I'm going to play this really simple. Okay, nothing complicated. Here's G, A, C in the right hand. C, D, E flat. The left hand's got a wind of its own. Haven't you? Yes, I do. Right, okay, let's see. Here we go. One, two, here's my solo. One, two, three, four. Take G, A, C and play them in any way you like. I want to shout change, go to C, D, E flat. I want to say join them up, join them up. Here we go. G, A, C, one, two, a one, two, three, and. Change C, D, E flat. somewhere. I'm going to show you a little bit about the form and how we work with instruments. Okay, if you play in a jazz band, you see the leader, um, when he wants you, everybody to play the tune, the tune's called the head. So, point to your head. The head here is... When he wants to play a backing figure, backing, you point to your back and a backing figure is a riff uh, a riff is great fun they've been going on for years and years uh, look monteverdi did them riff three ellington yeah. and once the riff is played once then it's harmonized and this is uh, exhilarating and um, it's so good for the ear because you're having to pitch the notes and it just gets you involved even deeper in the music so when I start playing a riff if there's two of you playing to get uh, together one of you improvise and the other plays the riff if you're on your own play whatever you like it doesn't matter and when I want you to finish right <coughs> I do this <coughs> which is the universal sign for cut. And there's an ending we do that goes. Now it's almost. 
almost like a scale. So we, there's, the, there's the root, third, fourth, up a bit, chromatic note, and then so a di do. Sing it. Now here's where it would come in the tune. So we go. you need. So throw caution to the winds. What's the worst thing that can happen? Th th there isn't a worst thing that can happen. You can completely enjoy yourself, get out on a limb and go for it, right? That's what I want you to do. The three words Richard keeps saying, mistakes are cool. Mistakes are cool. Okay, Miles Davis said there's no such thing as a wrong note. After a while, you get used to knowing which notes to put in, how to, how to make it groove. It's great fun. All right, C jam blues. Let's go. Here we go. We do the head first. A one, two, a one, two, three, and. Da -da. to say before I play a last tune to finish up with. Um, a, a valuable lesson I learned years ago 
from a great Fife jazz musician who went on to distinguish himself playing in the Lincoln Centre Jazz Band. His name was Joe Temperley. And when I asked Joe, how was he able to improvise in front of so many people? He said, Richard, when you play on stage, you don't want to be thinking about these. You just want to play. When I play, the last thing I'm thinking about is my fingers. That's what you're looking at. And the second thing is, treasure your teachers. Because this week, the lady that I studied with um, in Glasgow, the Royal Scottish Academy of Music and Drama, over half a century ago, she was 100 years old on Wednesday. Her name is Margaret Evans. If it wasn't for the teaching that I got from her, I wouldn't be able to do this. She got my, I had a terrible technique when I went to the academy and she completely sorted me out. So treasure your teachers because I had the lovely opportunity this week to phone her and say thank you for what you did for me because I wouldn't be doing this if it hadn't been for her. I'm so looking forward <clears throat> to the afternoon. Um, I'm going to finish off my His name is Louis Armstrong. I'm going to quiet everybody down. Finish off with this. It's been a pleasure uh, working with you over the past three weeks. From Kirkcaldy, bye-bye. And here's a little tune to see you out with.